Welcome to Genuine Coder guys. This is the second video in Java J Phoenix material design tutorial series. In the previous video I have shown how to configure and import J Phoenix library. If you haven't watched it yet, the link is available in the description. In this video I am, I am going to show you how to use J Phoenix Java FX buttons. So let us start by creating a new FXML application and uh, the project name is Java FX application tool. That's fine. And now we have the project with three files: uh, the FXML document file and the controller class. And let's open the JFX or FXML document file. The first thing we have to do is we have to add the JPhoenix library jar file into our project. Uh, so let's add it. JPhoenix jar jar if you don't know how to get the jphoenix.jar file watch the first video and here we are we have a main java fx application tool file and an fxml document and fxml controller file now i have opened the fxml file in scene builder so i have a default click me i just want to increase the size of the scene by a little bit and these are the Java uh, J Phoenix custom controls imported from the library and I want to use buttons so this is JFX button this is the basic form of button without any text if you just compile the program and run it you can see that there is no text on the button see there is a button but there is no text so first thing we have to do is we have to give a text uh, that is symbol button so we got a symbol button and uh, let's see how it look like and now we got a symbol button and th the next thing we have to do is there are two types of buttons in uh, at, uh, the three actually the first one is raised then flat button type and there is a disable button so let's see how the flat button looks like in the program with the uh, background color we have to set background color for the button and we can set the background color using either code or the css styling so here we have fx some background color and let's just set a random color let it be white so so no it's ff 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 so the button got a white color fixed background color and if you compile the program you can see there's a button in white color and the difference between a norm a flat button and the raised button is that there is a uh, beautiful shadow in case of the raised type see we can you can see a shadow here below the button we can make a separate button in order to appreciate the difference between the two so I'm just copying the button copy and paste so it's another button so this is our second button let us make it as raised now if we come to the program you can see it as raised and this is a flat type of button I often use the raised button since it is a little bit more looking good and the next thing we have to understand is uh, we can add ripple color for our uh, button let us set the ripple color as pure red that is slash ff 0000 and let us see how the ripple is working there's already an application so if you run the program you can see that the ripple color is set as red and that's it that's how you use the ripple color and the shadow feature in java fx uh, all other things are same as normal java buttons now we have two buttons one flat button and a rise button and let us make one more 
button that is duplicate it the existing file which is the raised one and set it as disabled so when you run the program you can see it as disabled which means you cannot click on the button or cannot interact on the button and if you want to see that let us run the program and see the button is not responding at all so let us d see how to implement an action listener role uh, when I click on this button I want to make this button as enable uh, it can be done on the same way as we uh, had done uh, in the Java FX programming uh, without a library so I am giving this button a name using the code section FX ID as raised button and when I click on the button I want to set this button which is disable button to be enabled and one more thing I have to do is I have to register a listener on this let it be the handle button action which is already created by NetBeans ID when we created the pro project so I am using the generated code show sample control section from the view menu to get the code that's it I just copied that and I am pasting it in the controller part in the controller part we need the handle button action so that's it I am just importing the uh, class using control shift I now the JFX button is imported so what we have to do is when we click on the rise button we have to make this disable button enable so it can be done in a pretty simple way disable button dot set enable uh, set disabled false by setting the disable as false you can enable the button so compiling now the button is enabled so that's it that's how you implement an action listener for a simple button and one more thing I have to sh I have to show you is setting another color in the property section as a background let it be a material color that is a material color like 4447FE and let us set the text color as white and let us set the ripple color to something like pure black okay and in order to appreciate the usefulness of JFX button we have to compare it with a normal button let's see how this code works we have a button with a text button so that's it let's run the program and see this is a normal Java FX button and this is a JPhoenix JFX button you can see the difference it's more beautiful and more stylish so that's how that's how you use JFX button thank you for watching the video subscribe for more cool videos and like the video if you liked it thank you